Red Channel Condition presents Psychotica, a free audiobook. Chapter 3 Forgotten Law. Dr. Bashir's face took on an expression of both surprise and relief for exactly the same reason. Sloane was alive. You're alive, Sloane, Bashir said, trying to contain his composure. I watched you die. Sloane's grinning smile maintained its integrity as his eyes remained locked into focus on Dr. Bashir. Oh, come on, doctor. You saw me die on Romulus, too. Don't tell me you're still that naive. During Bashir's genetic manipulation, his physicians neglected to enhance his fragile ego as the look of relief evaporated from Bashir's face and was replaced by a stern scowl. The pill I ingested on our last encounter was only designed to simulate death. We didn't anticipate you actually using those Romulan mind scanners on me after I died. Sick fuck. What do you want, Sloane? Sloane extended one of his hands out in front of him, and a Starfleet pad materialized into it shortly after. He flung the pad towards Bashir. The doctor's reflexes snapped into action, allowing him to catch it without skipping a beat. The pad began an immediate playback of security footage inside a medical facility, now identified as Starbase 412. It depicted in horrifying detail Lieutenant Commander Data's murderous rampage. The android punching through walls, leaping meters into the air, crawling on the ceiling like some sort of hypersonic arachnid Tarzan creature, snapping the necks of personnel like twigs, punching through torsos, devouring the remains. The footage became too much for Dr. Bashir, as he watched helplessly as the android entered a maternity ward, picking up infants and taking bites out of their foreheads like apples before smashing them into paste on the ground. Bashir erupted in a projectile vomit, splattering onto the floor, managing just to get a skosh of it onto Sloane's shoes. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ, Doctor. Grow some balls. Oh my God, that's fucking disgusting, Sloane. Bashir replied. Yes, Doctor. And it's only going to get worse unless you do something about it. Me? What do you expect me to do against a psychotic, rampaging android? I expect you to stop him, Doctor. But don't worry. You won't be going alone. There's a few names you might recognize on that pad, Doctor. You're going to be recruiting them. The first of which is already here. I believe you're familiar with the Admiral. You've been treating him for over a year now. He has a special relationship to the android. He might be able to assist you. Make no mistake, Doctor. We want Data brought back alive, if possible. But we understand that if it's not, your orders are to terminate him. By any means necessary. We also have one more member of your team. Let's just say he's been rehabilitated. With the help of a little Section 31 reprogramming, he should prove very useful. Sloane tilted his head, directing his voice into his shoulder. Send him. A transporter beam erupted between Sloane and Dr. Bashir, instantaneously creating a figure. The android lore stood before Dr. Bashir, a somewhat deadly earnestness and sarcastic look on his face, his tongue slightly protruding from his cheek and his head nodding ever so slightly. Well, well, well. Looks like they finally let me out of the slammer, huh? <laughs>